This is the golden ball. It's awarded to the best player at every World Cup. And today I'm using every player who has ever won. Now I need to clarify something. This isn't the same thing as the Ballon d'Or, which is awarded to the best player of all competitions. This is strictly the World Cup. This list provides us with every single golden ball winner from the first ever World Cup in 1930 to the most recent one in 2018. But we already have our first issue. The first four players on this list aren't even in FIFA, so we can't use them. So we're starting with 19. 1954 golden ball winner Ferenc Puskas. Now I've read some conspiracy theories about this award and how it's just a consolation prize for losing the World Cup. And the 1954 World Cup backs this theory up as Hungary lost 3-2 to West Germany in the final. But that's only one player. We'll see how the rest of this list goes. As you can see, I've added Puskas into our team alongside a bunch of other Hungarian players. Obviously, I can't use the ones that were his teammates back in the day, so I thought this is a good enough alternative. Now you might already know this, but Puskas actually has an award named after him, which is given to the greatest goal scored in that year. So it only makes sense that we score an absolute banger with him, which is going to be a Travella from outside the box. From here! Oh! Off the board! Now the next player on our list is Didi, but he isn't in FIFA, so we got to move on to 1962. And the conspiracy theory doesn't hold up in that year as Garincha won the Golden Ball and the World Cup with Brazil that year. And actually, he also won the Golden Boot, making him the first player to win all three trophies in one tournament. Now I finally understand why people say go when they think of Garincha. Now I've added Garincha into the squad and I've also replaced the other players with Brazilian players now. We got the likes of Marquinhos, we got Thiago Silva in there, and my favorite goalie, Gene. I really like his name. And as Garencha scored four goals in the World Cup, I have to go and do that in one match. And things got off to a great start. Can this be the first goal? Yes, it can! Easy quitting already, though. No, a rage quit would be so dumb. But they didn't rage quit, which was even dumber. There we go. Number two. Two more to go. But after a bad tackle, they changed their mind. What does this guy do? I think he's rage quitting. Yeah, he rage quit. We couldn't score the four goals, but that counts as a challenge complete. On to the next player. 1966 winner Bobby Charlton isn't in FIFA, so we move on to 1970 winner Pele. And the conspiracy is wrong again because Brazil went on to win their third World Cup, smacking the shit out of Italy 4-1 in the final. Now, I've added Pele into the team, but I've kept Garincha and the rest of the players as they were. And the next challenge is one that I've been avoiding for a very long time because I just can't score it. It's a bicycle kick. I feel like Pele is the one who's gonna do it for me but well, let's find out and there was a slight learning curve yes no, why are you heading that but then something crazy happened yes yes oh my days in the fifth minute i actually scored one let's see the replay he skipped the replay you know what we gotta do that's two in one game my work here is done. Now, moving into 1974, we have a new winner. It's Dutch legend, Johan Cruyff. And he didn't win the World Cup that year. That means conspiracy theory is on. The Netherlands ended up losing the World Cup final 2-1 to West Germany, but Cruyff actually did win the Ballon d'Or that year, which kind of makes up for it. I don't know. Which one would you choose? The World Cup or Ballon d'Or? And as you can see, I've added Cruyff into the team, his 89 rated base card version. It was 2.2 million coins. These players are expensive. But looking at this team, you might have a question. Paz, why is there a 56 rated keeper in net for you. Well, it's because he's not going to be in net for us. Cruyff is. And it's because things just don't make sense sometimes, and we have to save a pen with him for our next challenge. And it took just a couple minutes to put Cruyff to work. Okay, we got the pen. I'm just hoping he shoots it down the middle. Please, come here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right in the middle. Yes! He went down the middle. He actually went down the middle. We completed the challenge. Now, from 1978 to 1994, none of the players that won the golden ball are in FIFA. Well, Maradona was, but he isn't anymore. So we have to go all the way to 1998, where R9 Ronaldo won the golden ball. And the conspiracy theory that year could not be more true, as Ronaldo's Brazil lost 3-0 to Zidane's France in the final. But despite all that, I have added R9 into our team beside Pele and Garincha. And this next challenge, if you've seen my videos before, is one of my favorites. I have to run into the net. I have to literally dribble into the net with R9, and I have to complete this before the opponent scores, or else all these players are going on a wheel, and whichever one it lands on is this But things were just not going my way. It's a pen. 
No, but I, I gotta run into the net, man. I don't need a penalty shot. Wait, anyway, if I score a Panenka, I'll count it. Okay, he knew what I wanted to do. And things just went from bad to worse. Now this wheel right here has every position from the squad I've been using. Whichever one it lands on is the player we have to discard. It better not be one of the forwards. Please, please, please. It's gonna be CDM. Yes! I didn't want to go through the pain of having to discard one of my icons. The CDM can go. I think it's Fernando. Take it easy, Fernando. The 2002 Golden Ball winner was Oliver Kahn. And to be honest, he's probably one of my favorite keepers to ever play the game. He would literally put his face into anyone's foot and not give a shit. Now, it'd be really cool to have him in FIFA, but he's not probably due to some type of image rights. So instead, we're moving into 2006, which is the year of Zidane and his infamous headbutt. He attacked Materazzi, got a red card, scored a penalty anka and lost the world cup final and he still won player of the tournament. So this is the French team that I've built around Zidane and the challenge we have to do is score a Panenka with this Zidane. We're not going to get the red card. I've done that way too many times in other videos. I feel like actually winning the penalty will be the most difficult part and it took way longer than I would have liked. But then it finally happened. Ooh. Okay, we won the penalty. He almost broke Zidane's legs, but it's fine. Now we just got to score the Panenka. Okay, Zidane did score off the bar to the right. So that's what we're going to try to do. That's perfect. We completed the challenge. We're on to the next player. The next player on our list is a very special player because he didn't even make it to the World Cup final, but he still won player of the tournament. It's Diego Forla. And FIFA 23 is a very special FIFA because he was introduced as a hero card. And it's my first time trying to get this player. And what I mean by trying to get this player is we're going to open a pack that it contains a hero card. And if we get Forla, the challenge is complete. But if we don't, we got to discard that hero card. And there's some good players that this can contain. Please, FIFA gods, have Diego Forla in this pack. Who is it going to be? Who is this? Cordoba. This is a really good one. Oh, my days. How much is he worth? He's 300k. Oh, my days. To the gulag he goes. I was not expecting that. Final two players of this list both back up the conspiracy theory that this is basically just a consolation prize as it's 2014 winner Lionel Messi and 2018 winner Luka Modric. Both of these players lost in the final and both won the golden ball. Now I have Messi and Modric in this team and the rest of the players are just random players that I've put into this team so they don't really matter. The only thing that matters is whichever one of these two players scores the goal, the other one has to get discarded. There was no way I was going to discard Messi. That was me using every golden ball winner. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy this video right here.